Okay, so we're gonna set up our video settings here. Um, we're gonna start by clicking escape, go to, going to the settings cog, and then going to game settings and enable developer console, switch that to yes. And then you can press the little tilt key on your keyboard and it'll pop up a console. What you wanna do there is type in net graph, or net underscore graph one. And that's gonna bring up a, a little monitor on the right uh, bottom corner for us. The reason we're doing this is because our FPS is gonna dictate what some of our um, video settings are gonna be. So let's jump right into it. So press escape, press settings, go to video settings. So your aspect ratio, that's gonna be a big one. If you wanna play stretched, you go to a normal four by three. If you want, you know, native 16 by nine, and then you can stretch it out a little bit by using 16 by 10. We're gonna go, go ahead and use four by three. And then you can choose between, I, I recommend three different resolutions here. So uh, 1024 by 768, if you have a really slow computer. Uh, 1152 by 864, if you have a mediocre computer and 1280 by 960 if you have a decent computer. Um, I prefer the 1152 by 864 on my rig. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and apply this right off the bat, okay? And um, I do have a pros and cons video on playing with stretch resolutions if you wanna check that out. Uh, it's, it's what I prefer and there's a lot of tips and tricks in that video as well for you. I'll link it in the description below. At this point, if you did decide to go with a 4x3 resolution and it's showing black bars on the side, I'm going to show you how to get rid of it really quick. So you're going to want to go to your control panel, uh, whether that's your NVIDIA or AMD control panel, or if you don't have a graphics card, you're going to want to go to you know your regular control panel and display settings. So I'm going to go to NVIDIA control panel. And uh, so adjust desktop size and position and make sure this is checked to full screen and perform scaling on GPU. And that'll get rid of the black bars and go ahead and stretch out your monitor resolution for you. Also a uh, quick tip, if you're using a lower resolution than your native resolution, you may wanna change your monitor's resolution to that as well because it does help decrease input lag a little bit. So I'm gonna go with the 1152 by 864, go ahead and click apply, keep the settings, yes. So now my monitor's resolution is just as low as my uh, in-game resolution, okay? Okay, now that we've got the resolution all figured out, we're gonna go through the actual video settings themselves. So go ahead and click Escape, go to your Settings menu, go to your Video Settings tab. We'll start it at the very top. So Video Settings, Color Mode, of course, Computer. We've already got the resolution figured out. That's what we're gonna stick with because that's what I use. Display Mode, make sure it's set to full screen. That way all your computer's resources go to the game specifically. Laptop power savings, make sure that's disabled. Uh, it'll throttle your uh, CPU usage, stuff like that. Okay, so the advanced video. What you wanna do here is, so global shadow quality, keep that at medium because it does give you a competitive edge to be able to see some shadows, like your enemy's shadows, stuff like that. You know, maybe they're gonna peek a corner, you catch a glimpse of their shadow, and you're able to, you know, pre-fire it or whatever. Model texture detail, so that's just, you know, stuff to make the game look pretty. Uh, we're looking for a competitive edge here, so we're not gonna really care about that. Effect detail, same thing, you know, bullets, stuff like that, don't care about it. Make sure it goes all the way down to low. Shader detail, all the way down to low. So. The thing about shader details, if you have like really fancy skins and stuff like that, it's definitely going to deteriorate them a little bit, uh, especially the shiny ones, you know, anything case hardened, stuff like that. Personally, I don't care for them, so I'm going to go and go ahead and set that to low. Multi-core rendering, you want to make sure that is enabled. Multi-sampling, anti-aliasing, what anti-aliasing does is it smooths the edges. I really don't like that, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that all the way off. Um, and I again, I want all the performance and the least amount of input lag that I can get. FXAA anti-aliasing is just another way of doing the same thing. Texture filtering mode, I'm going to set mine all the way down to billionaire. Wait for vertical sync, so this matches your 
uh, frames with your monitor's um, refresh rate, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and set that to disabled. Motion blur, definitely disable. So motion blur, whenever you turn really fast, it kind of blurs out the screen. You really, really don't want that. So go ahead and apply all these changes. And then it's going to take a second to apply all of them. So your computer might act a little funky here. Also notice our frames. We were averaging about 100 and some at this point. Okay, and we're back. And we're sitting at 200 plus frames at this point. And uh, yeah, the game doesn't look as pretty. But it's definitely easier to spot people. And uh, you get a higher frame rate. And that's what matters. So there you go.